Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Libra love prediction reading for December 11th through December 17th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it. Leave the rest in addition. Please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loving, peaceful, kind, sweet, fun, Libras. Show me, spirit guides. What's going on with my Libras? Let's see. Show me. Four of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Ten of Wands, King of Wands, okay, and the Emperor. <laughs> Well, Libra, whoever this is that uh, is your love partner, he, he, yep, he's your love partner. You guys are together, but uh, just barely. I want to tell you why I say that. Let me, let me say this to you. First of all, the Four of Pentacles is here, and the Four of Pentacles is someone that is extremely, that is jealous. This person is jealous of you, and you know, here's the deal. He, I mean, he's like extremely jealous of you. I mean, when I say jealous of you, he's envious. He, he, he is He's, he doesn't want you to do anything. I just see him being overbearing. I mean, one of those type of people that you just can't even move without him. Because the Knight of Cups is here, though. The Knight of Cups is, you know, that's that card of he's offering you a proposal. And I do think he wants to marry you. I'll be very honest with you. I think he wants to marry you. But I think that you're pulling back from him because he has issues. He has issues. How can you marry someone that has all these issues? For one thing, I think he could be insecure. I mean... Because of you, I think that you are a beautiful woman. And I think that he just is insecure. You know, some people, some men, they want the trophy wife. They want the beautiful woman, but they can't handle it. And how they handle it is through their control. They're very controlling. I do believe this man wants to be married to you. I absolutely do. But you know, the thing is, I'm not sure you're going to marry him. I'm going to be very honest. I'm not sure you're going to marry him because there's too many issues. I mean, he just, I just see too many issues, too many things. To, he, I see him as being a burden to you, whether it's being your, your helpmate, your help me. Now I see the King of Wands here and the King of Wands for me is my marriage card. He wants to marry you. You've been with this guy. He is offering you a proposal here, but I don't know if you're going to say yes, because what even tells me even more about this guy is that the emperor is here the emperor represents an aries sun sign but the emperor card is all about control he is all about controlling you controlling everything you do and i don't think that you're going to be able to put up with that and i think here's the deal he is getting ready to uh, to ask for your hand in marriage but i and i think you know this i, I absolutely libra i think you know this guy's getting right at maybe a christmas proposal that's just what i see a lot of things are coming up right now when it comes to marriage and proposal i keep seeing this but this emperor whoever this is that is trying to control you that wants to control you because of his own insecurities i don't see you saying yes i see you turning down a proposal and the, only, the reason you turn it down is because he has too many issues if you got issues now and they're not solved now, how would it be any different when you get married to him? That's what you're saying to yourself. How would this be any different? But you don't want to hurt him. Hey, but the thing is, is that you know you can't be with this guy if he has all these issues. How can you be with him when he has all these issues? You know, how can you be with him? He's jealous. He's got a lot of issues going on right now. He needs to clear up those issues. I'm not quite sure if he can. Give me three to five minutes. I want to clarify the reading just to see what additional information the spirit guys want you to know about this relationship. Actually, I'm going to say this marriage proposal. What additional information do the spirit guys want you to know? I want you to sit back, relax. Let's see if we can clarify the reading to see 
what additional information? Let's see what, what the spirit guides, what additional information the spirit guides want you to know. Why is this four of pentacles here? Show me spirit guides. Why is the four of pentacles here for my Libras? Show me spirit guides. Oh, six of swords. Nope, 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 nope. Six of swords is moving away, moving to peace, getting out of this mess. And, you know, you don't want to hurt him. You want to be peaceful. Though. You're, you know, Libras are, are, are like are calm. Libras don't like a bunch of mess. And this person is always a bunch of mess with him. Just because he his head's not right. He has issues that he needs to deal with. And here you are with the Six of Swords. means you're moving away from this. You're moving away from this. You're moving away from the jealousy. You're moving away from the, the, the bull, the BS that he keeps giving you. You're moving away from this, um, this always being on pins and needles because you never know what he's going to come up with next. So let's see why the Knight of Cups is here. This is a proposal. This Knight of Cups lets me know there's a proposal that's coming. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Knight of Cups here for my Libras? Ooh, what did I tell you? Thank you, Spirit, guys. When the Spirit, guys, give you those two cards like that on top of each other, Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups, you better believe I'm telling you exactly what I know. Whomever I'm reading for, it, you are about to be proposed to. Now, it's up to you whether you say yes or no. But you're about to be proposed to. That Knight of Cups is an offering. You see that love offering? That's a proposal. He's getting ready to propose to you. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, Spirit Guides. He's getting ready to propose to you. So you got to get ready. <laughs> because I don't think he has a clue that you're about to walk away from him or leave him. Because I do see with the Six of Swords that you're, you're moving away from him. Gradually, little by little. Because you don't want to hurt him. But you are going to end up hurting him. So let's see. Why is this Ten of Wands here? Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Ten of Wands here for my Libras? Man, I cannot believe this read. Thank you, spirit, guys. I am definitely connected to the spirit, guys, right now. Whoever I'm reading for, listen to me. He has so many things. He has issues. He has, he's going to be a burden rather than someone that's going to help your help me. He's got issues upon issues upon issues. Thank you, spirit guys. Look at this, Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups, Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands. I've never read this before. I've never had these cards come out like this. What a reading this is. I am telling you, I'm connected. The spirit guys are talking. Please listen to me. Please listen to me because they are working and they're telling the story through me. So, hey, this person has issues. Issues. He's offering you. He's going to ask for your a proposal. There's a proposal that's coming. And I do believe it could be a Christmas proposal. But um, let's see. He's got issues though. Show me why this knight, this king of wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the king of wands here? The moon. The moon. Yeah. The moon can represent a Pisces sun sign, but it's over this king of wands. And and here's the deal. When I tell you about this, um, Libra, he wants to marry you, but like I said, he has too many issues. And, and I don't want you to sit there and look at it with rose-colored glasses thinking that you can change him. I don't want you to have illusions that if you say yes, you can change him. He is coming. When people show you who they are, believe them. This moon card means that there is some deception. There is some, because you are looking at this in a different manner. You should be looking at this realistically. But instead, you're looking at this through rose-colored glasses. You're looking at saying, oh, I can change. Oh, he's not that bad. Oh, yes, he is that bad. Please, take your blinders off and look at this person. This moon card, deception, betrayal. He is not what you think. If he's doing this now, this is mild. If he's jealous now and acting crazy now, can you imagine how he's going to be if you marry him? So let's see why this Emperor card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Emperor card here for my Libra? Show me spirit, guys. Yep, it's a breakup. Good for you. I I'm sorry, Libras. I think this is the best, best move you can make. You're breaking up with him because guess what? He's overbearing. This He, he wants total control over you. If, in fact, like I said, if you had taken this and, and said yes to this proposal, this was not something that you would be able to deal with in the long run. A marriage with him would not be, no, it would not work out. Let's start at the beginning of the Four of Pentacles. This is someone that is extremely jealous. 
extremely jealous and you're gradually trying to move away from him and here he is going to offer you he want, he's going to propose to you this um, holiday season I'm telling you this is a proposal here but here's the deal in the middle of your reading he's got issues I've never had a reading like this where the spirit guys um, clarify the reading on top of two cards of the same things I whomever I'm reading for please listen to me the spirit guys are telling me this is going to be a, a, a proposal but he has issues. Do not look, overlook these issues. Insecurity. Jealousy. He's got issues. He can. He is not ready for marriage. And if he has issues now, how do you think it's going to change? When people show you who they are, like I said, believe them. Now, he's a king of wands. Like I told you, he wants to marry you. But look at that uh, moon card over there. Can, he can, this can represent a Pisces sun sign as well, Libra. Because the moon card does represent Pisces. But it can be anyone. But. When you see that moon card, there's illusions here. There's deception. There's betrayal. Because you're looking at this thinking you can change him. Thinking, oh, he'll change when you get married. Yeah, he'll change when you get married. But he'll change for the worse. I don't see this person changing for the better. If he's already acting like this, he's going to continue to act like this. He is not changing. Do not look at this with rose-colored glasses. Don't think that you can change him. And there's that emperor card that just really, really tells you. That emperor is, has a lot of ego. Emperor is like wants things their way. They want to control things. Can be an airy sun sign. But look at that four swords because you're going to break up with him. I'm sorry, but I think it's for the best. I just think this 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 guy is not your, your guy. Your breakup is for the best. This is a breakup that's coming. You've been going, you hey, you need to walk away from this. You need to break up, break up with this person and move on. He's not ready for marriage. He is not ready for marriage. Matter of fact, I don't even see him ready for a relationship with you. It's always chaos with him. You're not that kind of person. You like you like you like um peace. You like the peace. You like peace. He's not peaceful. It's always some ish with him. You know, it's jealousy, enviousness, insecurities. This is not your God. So let's see. Show me oracles. Let me see what the oracles have to say. Oh, straight out the box. The oracles aren't playing. They're saying there's something better. There's something better. Absolutely, there's something better. This person is just not your, your person. And I don't even know how to say it anymore. He's just not your person. That, I'm going to give it to the spirit guys today because the spirit guys are not playing. They are coming correctly. They say no. So your proposal needs to be a no. But all in all, it is up to you. All in all, it's up to you. It's, it's your life. You have to decide what you want to do. You will not change this guy, but hey, it's your life. So you have to figure it out. But this guy is not, mm -mm. I don't see him being for you. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Libra.